So now we're looking at getting DMX data out of Touch Designer over ArtNet. This can be used to send DMX to, today we're going to send it to Resolume, but this can be used to sending to lighting consoles to send color data for fixtures or control lighting. So for this, there is a DMX out chop. Make sure we set it to ArtNet for this, but if you're using hardware, you can do something else. And we're going to use the built-in color picker to send some, choose some colors. So let's use the analyze chop to see what parameters are coming out of this. So we have an R, RGB red, green, blue value. So that's pretty much perfect for what we want to do today. Um, you can send that straight into the DMX out, but those values aren't quite right. So DMX uses a channel value of zero, uh, 512 channels per universe and a value of zero to 255 per channel. So we need to change that data using a math chop. So right now these values are zero to, bring out the value to full, zero to one. So in the math chop, we change the range from zero to one to zero to 255. So now if we run through the math chop, we should see those values. So DMX is just gonna take the order of the channels come in and assign them values. So reds one, greens two, and blues three. To keep that a bit simpler, we might actually use a select chop and rename those. To match the DMX values. So just like the DMX in chop, let's change the names from RGB, sorry, uh, rename from RGB to C1, C2, and C3. <clears throat> and now let's assign those values in Resolume. So we're going to map those. Control Shift X. Set up DMX mapping. The so first one, let's just quickly capture some DMX values, please. We can change these afterwards. So shortcuts, DMX, edit DMX. So I've already captured some. We just need to capture them first of all. So red, we want to be channel one. Green, channel two. And blue, channel three. Exit DMX mapping. So if we look at that solid now, so we've got a solid color there. We should have changed the color of it with this mapper. So we got more of these color pickers. For example, say we wanted to have a gradient. So let's change this into a gradient. We'll use two of these color pickers now to assign the two colors. So again, we need a math chop. To change that range to 255. And let's use a select chop to rename those channels. Now, so we don't one, two, and three, now let's do channel four, five and six. So we want to merge this, we'll use a merge chop to bring all of these values together. So we'll bring in the first ones first and these ones second. So we'll bring them in in that order. So make sure the order is correct here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can send that to DMX. So once again, back in Resolume, now we're going to map these two values. So we want to use the red green, blue RGB color picker, and we'll enter edit DMX mode. We should have grabbed some values in here quickly. Just to capture them so we've got something to change up here. And now let's go back and edit them. So the first one's channel one, that's correct. Channel two, channel three. So it'll be channel four green channel five, and blue channel six. Okay, exit DMX mapper. So 
Now if we look at these values, blue, red, we select that color. I'll move the output window so we can actually see it properly. We have the two colors of that gradient. So we can go to green on the first one, magenta on the second one. So we have full control from Resolume of Resolume colors over DMX. Now this is an example because Resolume is easy to show on the computer. This could be used to send your color data. So we could have multiple fixtures here and send color to say LED fixtures, um, pixel tape, all sorts of stuff over ArtNet.